Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wind. Hope everyone's doing well today. Here with your daily free picks. All right, guys. So yesterday we went one and two in free picks. Uh, finished today overall five and five in master class. Um, Philadelphia, Boston uh, got the easy over there. Lost uh, Texas and Oakland and uh, Miami. Another pitching change. So look, I bet action on my plays unless. Something is like glaringly obvious that it's going to degradate the line if there's a pitching change. Um, I certainly didn't foresee a pitching change in this one, but it's been uh, it's been a weird year for that for us. Um, we've had a ton of pitching changes, um, and it seems like every one of them goes against us this year. We'd love to get a pitching change going in our favor anytime soon, um, but uh, yeah, it happened. They lost. Onward and upward. Um, yesterday guys, I did another video. I mentioned in that video, uh, that I started, uh, a mailing list for free picks guys for the days that I can't get to, uh, to doing the videos for free picks. I will still send them out. I'll send out the free picks, um, via email. So if you want to sign up guys, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description. Uh, so you can click on that and just sign up. It's free. And I will send those, um, I'll send that out to you guys as well. We're going to do some like exclusive contests um, and special offers, things like that. If you're in Masterclass, you do not have to sign because you are automatically eligible for all that stuff. And, you know, getting the email every day anyway. So, um, yeah. So anyways, yeah, if you're interested in that, guys, I uh, will leave a link down below and you can click on that and, uh, and join up. All right. So I have a couple plays today for you guys. Um, both in baseball, including a two-unit play. All right, so first off, guys, we're going to start with our one-unit play here, and that is Baltimore and the Chicago White Sox to go under 10 plus 100. So under 10, even money on that one. I have three system indicators. There's four steam and reverse line moves on this, as well as two at Pinnacle. So um, anytime we see Pinnacle, five-dime heritage involved, uh, you got to set up, take note, especially this year with five-dime. Five-dime's been really good, but Pinnacle not too shabby as well. So um, we're going to go Baltimore and White Sox under 10 plus 100 as well, guys. Um, Mike Michlinski is behind home play 54% under good under umpire, uh, especially when you're going to spot them 10 runs in this game. So yes, can these teams rake? Can they put runs on the board? Sure. But I think the number is too high, especially considering we're getting even money. We're not laying any juice on it. Good value there. Um, all right, two unit play, guys. Before I get into it, I just want to mention Masterclass today. Uh, I have six additional baseball plays and I have three player props. Um, yesterday, guys, we did, uh, we did keep it rolling with our player props again, going, uh, going two and oh. Um, and it was, it was really funny. Someone actually commented because we had that rebound taken off. We thought we were four and oh the day before on player props. Um, somebody commented that, uh, after the game, it's unlikely they're going to take a strikeout away from us, right? Like they took that rebound away. But anyways, we went to an own player prop. I have three more pitcher player props today and uh, six additional baseball plays above and beyond that. Um, on to, Oh, if you're interested, BenderWins.com, guys, $99 for a full month. It doesn't matter. I get this question a lot. It doesn't matter what day you join. You get a full month from the day you join. So it doesn't matter. Like if you join on the 29th of the month, you don't pay again a day later. No. Um, it's a full month from the day that you join. All right. So T in a play, guys. Um, we are going to take uh, their favorite. We're going to take them, guys. San Diego minus 178. Okay. San Diego minus 178. So let's, let's start off. Let's have a look at this pitching matchup. Okay. We got Marquez versus Musgrove, guys. Musgrove has been great this year. He has been great. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Pardon me. He's got a whip of under one. Okay. Whip again, walks, hits, printing, pitch is 0.9. A lot to like about that. Now, Marquez, guys, been solid this year. But where has he been solid? He's been solid at home, okay? He's got a 3.06 ERA at home in Colorado, which is very, very impressive. On the road, however, he's been a different story. He has a 4.67 uh, ERA on the road, a 1-5 record, 1 win, 5 losses, and his whip is up over 30 points higher on the road, walks, hits, printing, pitch. So he gives up a lot of hits. Now, on the flip side, guys, um, we, we got to look at the batting here for both teams, okay? So right off the bat, guys, we, we know Colorado struggles on the road, okay? That's, we know that. Um, 
Colorado's only hope, I won't say only hope, but I mean, their, their hope on the road is they're going to face a lefty because we know Colorado bats, uh, bats well against lefties. They hit 266 against lefties, only 235 against righties. And Musgrove is most certainly a righty. So they're going to be facing a righty where they only bat 235. On the road, they bat 201. Yes, you heard me right. At home, they hit 280. They have no problem hitting the ball at home. One of the best home hitting teams, if not the best home hitting team in the league. On the road, though, <clears throat> pardon me, 201. So, I mean, you can see the difference there, guys. Um, Padres, okay, um, 30 points better in terms of on-base percentage at home. Um, they bat righties, eight points better. And they're hitting the ball in July, batting 271 in July. Um, and then, I mean, let's just let's just take a big step back and let's look at, at a macro statistic, okay, okay? And we're just going to look at their home and away records, guys. Home, San Diego, 33 wins and 17 losses versus Colorado's road record of seven wins and 34 losses. Uh, again, guys, it's important that, you know, when you're looking at, at, at certain games and you're looking at the number aspect, you have to reverse engineer these games back from math, guys, in terms of probability. This line should be well over minus 250. Well over minus 250, guys. We have a significant amount of value getting this for less than 180. So two-unit play, San Diego, minus 178. Um, there's a lot of ways that San Diego can win this game. There's very few ways that Colorado can win this game. For Colorado to win this game, a lot of things have to go right, okay? Marquez has to go against his, you know, his 1-5 and five record and his poor... Uh, uh, road whip and his poor, um, you know, 4.67 ERA on the road. The Colorado bats are going to have to wake up on the road. Plus, they're going to have to do it against a right-handed pitcher. Okay. Um, the path to victory, I sound like an election. The path to victory um, for San Diego is a much easier path to victory, guys. San Diego, two units. All right. All right. Um, yeah. So again, guys, that's it for free picks today. Masterclass, if you are interested in Masterclass, again, like I said, uh, we have six additional plays and three more player props. Player props, <clears throat> sorry, player props, we've been absolutely hammering so far. So let's uh, keep it going. All right, guys, so that is it for us today. Thank you guys very much. And as always, guys, have a very lucky day.